G'day scrappers, thought I'd try melting some aluminium today, so what I did is I've uh, I've been cleaning up a lot of these hard drive caddies to resell just the hard drives, I don't sell the caddies, so um, a lot of these server caddies do have cast aluminium frames, so I've just been um, removing some now and breaking them up into two pieces uh, just so they can fit into the cru uh, crucible. I'm going to try this mold first and uh, just to give me one bar of this size and shape but um, the rest I'm going to do them in these long Kit Kat uh, molds because uh, it's mostly because of the actual um, crucible itself. So the furnace that I'm using isn't ideal for aluminium because uh, aluminium is very light and to do a lot of it you need uh, a much larger uh, a crucible than this one. This is rated at three kilo gold and my furnace is more more for gold, silver and maybe copper. With al aluminium I think uh, it's it's best to make your own furnace like a backyard furnace. I think it's uh, you can do something with a, a lot bigger crucible than this something you know really big maybe cast iron and you know because aluminium only requires 660 degrees celsius to melt or thereabouts so um but anyway so what i'm going to do is mostly do them in these um kit kat bars so they can then fit into the crucible when i want to remelt the um the aluminium so it's pretty much just breaking these down or melting these down into um, more manageable Kit Kat size ingots and then when I you know if I ever need um, to cast anything out of aluminium I'll have the ingots ready to go to pour it put into this crucible but anyway let's get to it and uh, I'll start off the furnace and uh, see how we go okay got the furnace ready to go um, crucibles filled with uh, some small pieces of aluminium first just to get the melt going once that happens it's going to be a, a lot easier to, to melt these longer pieces I'll just put them in it should just drop in nicely all right well set the temperature currently in in Melbourne it's about 28 degrees Celsius so it's quite a warm day quite a nice day actually so the melting temperature of aluminium is 650 so we'll just start it at that and see if we um, get a good melt at exactly 650 it might need a little bit more maybe not so we'll just let that start melting and I'll keep adding bits and pieces till we get enough to make our first pour Okay, well it's reached 650 and I just realised that the actual melting temperature is 660. So we'll drop it up another 10 degrees and hopefully we can get some melt. But uh, I might even go a little bit higher anyway. Doesn't really matter. I'll bring it up to 680. Okay, that should be enough warming up. Now it looks like I actually put the temperature up quite a bit to 710 just to make sure that I've got a good a melting temperature. Okay, well, looks all right. I can get over here. So it's all liquefied and there doesn't seem to be well. kind of bit creamy on the top not sure if the temperature is too warm um, but uh, I'm, I'm imagining the surface here is just reacting to the oxygen and sort of solidifying a bit I removed you know what supposedly is dross um, I don't really I only have these little 
pen kind of uh, stirring rods so I don't have anything that really can scoop up if this is uh, dross at the top but uh, it's definitely melted so I might just try and pour it and we'll just see what happens during the pour um, yeah so I, I removed earlier on I removed these two chunks of you know what might have been dross but uh, um, it's still aluminium and what I'm sort of thinking is you know one this is already been casted so wouldn't the dross already be removed in the first place or is it just because oxygen might be the thing that produces dross I'm not really sure but anyway I'm just pouring aluminium <laughs> okay let's give it a go I'll just reheat this a little bit more Okay. Let's see how my first cast pour is from actual cast aluminium. So as you can see the the chamber is not actually as red hot as it would be with copper. Well, that worked, seemed to work pretty good. There's like a, uh, it's almost like a shield of aluminium. It's like a coating. So that should melt back down. Apart from that last little drop, that was a bit rough. It actually turned out very nice. Um, yeah, it looks magic. And yeah, I'm not sure whether this is dross or, or not. I mean, you know, if it is dross, what is dross? Because it looks like it's just aluminiums to me. And, uh, you know, I might even take one of these into the metal uh, buyer and see if he can x ray it and see what it contains. But I'm assuming it's just going to be aluminium. Okay, so the aluminium bar, um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the center has sort of dimpled down, sort of dropped. I'm not sure what that is, but I know that it, that is something. But anyway, I'll keep melting some metal. I'll drop this into some water. And we'll, um, the next one is I want to do a Kit Kat one. Check that baby out. Wow, that's fantastic, man. That is really nice. Jeez. That was a lot easier than doing it with copper or brass. Okay. I'll just quench you around, down and... All right, that looks fantastic. Really nice and smooth. It's got a bit of a dimple in it, which is, uh, you know, what you, you sort of want in a kind of like a collectible version. But look how smooth and straight those edges are. Just really cool. And look how beautiful and clean that is. That's uh, fantastic. Wow. And it, it feels great, like it's a great size bar, but 
because it's aluminium you know it doesn't weigh that much so it just feels strange you feel like you're holding a silver bar but you know it's just uh but th that's that's really really nice and uh i don't know you know you could kind of stamp it and sort of make them as little gifts to friends uh, maybe as recycled aluminium so what was these cast aluminium um, hard drive uh, brackets we got a really nice collectible bar that um, I'm just going to keep as a, as a memento from cast aluminium so the next ones we're going to do are going to be in these KitKat uh, molds and the reason why is later on like I said you can just drop it into I can I can just drop it into my furnace but if uh, you built a homemade furnace uh, using gas or whatever um, even wood fire for aluminium um, then it doesn't matter the I suppose the bigger the bar the better but uh, this is a nice size for me for a collectible we'll, we'll weigh it up a little bit later and this is a nice size for me to use it later as a raw material of cast aluminium just in case I want to cast something you know say I needed to cast that you know I could make a mold and I've I'm gonna have my aluminium ready to go but this one here this size bar this is like you'd be crazy to sell it I mean it's worth 20 times more than it's worth scrap aluminium I mean you know anyone would love that and uh, you know it's pretty good quality cast aluminium so uh, the other ones to do is just regular sh sheet aluminium and then a extruded aluminium and um, maybe even uh, soda can aluminium but uh, and some of you Americans are going to probably be hating the fact that I'm saying aluminium you know um, yeah I know aluminum that's an American term you know I mean you spell it aluminum uh, but everywhere else in the world it's aluminium so uh, we you know the rest of the world don't mind Americans saying aluminum so I guess the Americans shouldn't mind the rest of the world saying aluminium but I'm just melting a little bit more I'll do one of these now and um, I'll do some more later and we'll see how they look okay let's have a look at this next pour don't need as much but yeah it's all pretty much liquefied and you know you know if that's dross well to me that's just aluminium that's just touched a bit of oxygen but uh, I'm not a metallurgist so what do I know <laughs> I'm just a scrapper making myself some aluminium bars who cares about the technical shit okay I think we're hot enough we're ready to go face mask on again okay well that was a uh, really good I had enough still a little bit of aluminium left over but I think I got it all um, that's all I'm going to do for now because it's a bit hot today so I just wanted to get a sample one of each but uh, really happy and uh, I thought I was going to have more trouble with dross and stuff like that but uh, no all turned out really good so we'll just uh, wait a few seconds and I'll drop this one out and we're in business okay let's remove the ingot really nice extraction
Look at that baby. Oh, hey. That looks tastier than a Snickers bar. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. Gotta take gloves off here. Still warm. It actually aluminium actually stays warmer than copper does after you uh quench it. But really nice smooth edges. A little bit rough here, but um I think there's something wrong with the mould rather than anything but uh maybe when it cooled it sort of shrunk a little bit but look at that top see the nice dimple going all the way along that's what i like with poured bards but uh, well even though i was going to use these as raw materials i'll probably keep one of these kit cats because i like these too <laughs> um but see um now you probably know what I mean by using these as a, a raw base because say when I want to uh, pour um, make my own mold of or something of uh, aluminium and I want to pour my own aluminium I've got these ready to go and I know they're nice and clean and I can just drop it into the crucible and melt it away time uh, I'm not even going to bother polishing these up obviously so there's the first one really nice and uh, the second one both using the same um, cast aluminium pieces so beautiful um, well you know it's you know I haven't created much value here um, it's only aluminium but hey um, this was the best fun and it was really easy in my furnace um, probably even a backyard furnace would be really easy and these are fantastic bars I mean who wouldn't want a bar like that who wouldn't want that I mean you know I, I know I'm gonna get comments saying oh you know what's the point but uh, yeah if you understand you know on a hobby level this is real fun creating your own ingots and bars or whatever um, yeah, and maybe one day I'll start um, making things out of cast aluminium and I'll start using these as the uh, raw material first. So anyway, that's all I got today, guys. My first aluminium casting and uh, geez, it couldn't have turned out any better. And yep, that was that's definitely my very first. I had no practice runs or anything like that. Um, it's just... So if I can do it, anyone can melt themselves some nice aluminium bars. Anyway, guys, keep scrapping, have fun, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Just want to weigh these babies up. 330 grams for this one. So about three quarters of a pound. And this one, 465. So just over one pound, almost exactly a pound of aluminium here so that's nice nice weight so all up 800 grams